Well, hi there. My name is Colin Mitchell. I'm the Vice President and General Manager of RF Systems for Space at L3Harris. It's about a quarter of our space business and anything that uses RF, whether it's comms or uh, ISR, belongs to me. We have a long history uh, on uh, moon exploration programs going back to the Apollo days. One of the things we're especially proud of, uh, in the original Apollo we did the telemetry systems that tracked the astronauts as they went to the moon. These days for Artemis II we're doing the audio system. So you know the, uh, the astronaut communication system in the capsule. Uh, they have uh, uh, radios that clip onto the astronaut uniform themselves. We have a control unit box that is the radio system. And then we also have a speaker interface. So all their comms from the moon and back uh, are coming through things that we built. And our, our team is thrilled about it. So a radio system is a radio system. What we've done here that's so different is the, the mission life. So they can be reused. And also the environments that it survives, right? So uh, you know, in space, uh, different radiation environments, uh, a lot of longevity. And because it's a no-fail mission, we can't have astronauts out there unable to communicate back to the Earth. So we've tested, retested, and tested these things again so we know that they're going to work flawlessly. Yeah, it's, it's actually something they don't even have to touch. It's a, a sensitive voice to talk, like what a, a special operator might have on their belt so they can be hands-free. Space industry is a great place to be right now. Uh, a lot of growth. Certainly, uh, it's, it's been good for industry overall. A lot of missions. Um, space Symposium is the biggest it's ever been, um, which I think is just proof that space is a good place to work. If any of your, uh, your readers, your viewers uh, want a, a job in space, there's plenty.